About 90% of the rhodium is consumed by the car industry. Although the car market is going down, however legal regulations get stronger and stronger, therefore the rhodium demand for car catalysts increased a lot. As a result, the rhodium price is going up. Only three years ago, the price for fabricated rhodium was about 20 euros per gram. Currently, we are above 180 euros per gram rhodium. We had the same situation in 2008, where Yumiko started R&D for cost-saving alternates to poor rhodium by rhodium alloy electrolytes. At this time, platinum was cheap, so we started to develop a rhodium platinum electrolyte called rhodium PT. Unfortunately, the platinum price was increasing as well, so we moved to rhodium ruthenium. The alloy composition, rhodium to ruthenium, is flexible, but for jewelry, 75% rhodium and 25% ruthenium fits best for maximum cost saving with best performance. At current rhodium price of 180 euros per gram, you can save about 35 to 40,000 euros each kilogram rhodium. Since 2009, we have our Roduna Alloy Electrolyte in mass production at one of the worldwide biggest fashion jewelry producers. At the moment, we get almost daily a new customer replacing poor rhodium by Roduna Alloy. If you compare Roduna Alloy to poor rhodium, everybody expects that it's more complicated in production as it's an alloy out of two metals. But in reality, we have seen that the usage in mass production is comparable with poor rhodium. In case you overdose the ruthenium, the layer gets more dark and can easily be compensated by dosing some rhodium. In case you overdose the rhodium, your cost saving will be reduced, but the plating is still cheaper than poor rhodium. Roduna alloy layers are as white as poor rhodium layers, but have better abrasion resistance, which means that you get better quality at lower cost. Roduna alloy is not only used in the jewelry field. Since mobiles are mostly waterproofed and wearables became more fashionable, Roduna alloy is used for technical application as well. Normally, the electrical contacts are gold plated, but as gold is dissolved in contact with sweat while charging, OEMs moved already to Roduna Alloy as contact surface. As fast charging gets more to standard, the pressure to replace gold by Roduna Alloy is getting higher. In case Roduna Alloy is used for technical application, the ruthenium is not only for cost saving, but it reacts as a brightener and additional as internal stress reducer. We get more and more requests for dark layers. The jewelry field is mostly requesting layers as dark as possible. For the variables, a good conductivity at a maximum degree of darkness is most important. Umicore offers successfully since 2007 the black ruthenium 479, which has limitations. Ruthenium is indeed cheap, but shows cracks at very dark layers and can't be used for electronic applications as it will be dissolved under anodic polarization while charging. For very dark layers, we developed the Roduna 471, where you can achieve L values down to 50, depending on the amount of blackening agent in the electrolyte. For technical as well as for decorative application, we spent our investigation in the cost-saving Roduna alloy black, where you can use the same rhodium and ruthenium concentrate as for white Roduna alloy. You just need, additionally, the two blackening agents. With Roduna Alloy Black, you achieve layers with a low B value, which means a more bluish tone and not brownish like most ruthenium layers have. The color is stable over a wide current density range and the electrolyte has an easy maintenance. We have been very astonished that the abrasion resistance is much better than of poor rhodium or ruthenium layers. We have started with 
the classic decorative accessoires like like buttons or belt buckles we have cufflinks done or watches all kinds of jewelry up to the car interior industry we have home homeware industry even aircraft interior styles get into the black layers and all these applications we have done trials and implemented it standard things like fancy perfume caps attachments in the fashion like like shoe industry or kitchen interior styles need to be or even a door for dark colors the bathroom fitting industry since years is asking for abrasive resistant black color and they're nearly begging for such abrasive resistant metal layer in black color it even doesn't stop at, at razor blades or even coffee machine blendings um, ask for it. Technically applications, for example, like your mobile or other electronic devices, handhelds need to be charged and plugged in, but as well they need a nice look and additionally the application is possible with, uh, with a layer of without corroding or even breakdown and not easily scratched surface, always in a black layer. The Ruduna alloy black is a very hard, abrasive and corrosion resistant layer and all with a 50% loading saving in the application. It is the most economical way to have a precious metal plating combined with a perfect technical ability in a dark and rusted color. In the meanwhile, different other industries approached us. Because of the high rodeo price, we get daily queries and the clients ask how to handle this situation with this high rodeo price. And my colleagues and me, we offer you support. We help you with the price calculation. And quite often in that case, the surprise starts when you realize the possible savings with the white Roduna alloy or the Roduna alloy black within this calculation. We are happy to show you, for example, color sample blades to compare it with your current process as well, it is no problem to sample plate your item. You see the appearance on the Roduna Alloy Black and get an impression on your merchandise. We help you with the production sequences and we will guide you through the options to implement Roduna Alloy or Roduna Alloy Black into your setup. I lately talked to an operator using the Roduna Alloy Black in his plating line and he just mentioned it is surprising how easy this alloy electrolyte can be handled and maintained as it is just an alloy and not a pure rhodium blade. The perfect throwing power combined with a permanent color stability as well how easy it is to reach higher layer thickness. It is amazing how stable it works and the clients are so happy to get a continuous, constant quality. As most of the precious metals shows increasing prices, everybody is looking for ways to replace, for instance, rhodium or palladium. For rhodium, we found an alternate with Rodun alloy, but we are still under R&D for cost-saving alternates to palladium plating. We spend a lot of time in developing different and detached parts and we can offer meanwhile a perfect fitting product for all applications. Of course nickel free gold layers are still a topic where we offer gold iron indium electrolytes like Aruna 215. Unfortunately I can't tell you anymore where our development focus is right now.